The short chip shot, a shot which should be simple, right? But I know it's a shot that a few of you struggle to play. So keep watching this video to find out where you might be going wrong and what you need to do to fix it. Hi guys, Andy Shakespeare here, PJ Professional, and welcome to Shakespeare Short Game Secrets. Thanks for tuning into this video, and if you're new to my channel, please remember to hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my latest releases. So today I'm going to go over how we play the short chip shot. So I know it's a shot a few of you struggle with, and it's a question which has come up in some comments from some of my other videos. So today I'm going to go over the main cues we need to do to ensure that we're effective on the short shot and hopefully help you guys improve at home. So with all short game, the most important factor is distance control. If we can hit the right distance, we're never going to be that far away from the flag. So there's three key important factors that we need to understand that actually help us control our distances of our shots. So these three factors are strike location, so sending us a strike, swing speed, so how fast the club is going through the ball, and dynamic loft. So what the loft is at impact when we're hitting the shot. So it's really important that we get good at controlling these three factors if we're going to be effective in the short game. I've outlined these three factors, but what do they actually mean when we're trying to actually play the shot? So there's the theory and the practicality, so I'm now going to explain how we can apply this to the shot. So first of all, strike location. So if we strike the ball out the middle of the face, we're going to get a really efficient strike. If we start to hit different parts of the face, we're going to lose energy transfer and the ball's not going to come off at the same speed and we're not going to hit the ball as far. So. I'll give you a little cheat at the end to, which might actually help you with the chipping on this short shot but we're going to presume that we're going to try and strike the ball out the middle of the face. So the second factor I talked about was speed, so club head speed. So the way we control speed is our length of swing. So because we're hitting the ball not that far, our swing won't have to actually go that far back. So if you watched my previous video about how you're trying not to duff your chip shots, I really emphasize the fact that we're trying to get the club up into a really nice position where the shaft is parallel to the ground, that the butt of the club is pointing parallel to my target. However, if I swung that big for this shot, the ball's gonna go too far. So if I did that big swing there and go through, suddenly I've gone well past my target. So that point is a point of reference. So that's where we're trying to get to. So this shot's much shorter, but I'm only gonna be working towards that point. So you see, if I kept on turning, my club ends up in that nice position. But what I'm actually gonna do is only go this far back. So it looks like the club's still outside my hands here, but it's actually working up into that really nice position. So if I do that shorter swing and go through, all of a sudden you can see I've got that much smaller shot even though the club was working on that same angle there. I've just panned out the camera now so you can see the shot as a whole. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lean the shaft slightly forward, not too much. So this is going to really help me get that good strike. I'm going to make sure my swing's not too far back and I'm going to control it with a nice rhythm to help control the speed as well. So slight lean, turn, turn. You can see I hit the ball two, three yards in front of me, and it stopped very quickly. So it is rough grass here, but on a green, that's really not gonna run out too much. Now for that cheat. The main reason I see people struggle with this shot is that they try and do a small swing, but they lose all their rhythm and they get disconnected and they end up with those, those poor strikes and they, they fin these short ones here. So I did that nice short swing, but I really lost the strike. So people find it a lot easier to get their body involved and actually the swing gets a lot bigger. So if the swing's bigger, we know the ball's gonna go too far. So the way we can cheat is by using that off center strike to our advantage. So if we strike it more towards the toe, we're gonna get an energy loss. So it's gonna reduce 
reduce the efficiency of the strike by about 30% by striking out the toe. So that's going to allow us to swing a little bit bigger here with the toe strike and the ball's not going to travel as far. So I'm going to strike this one out the toe, I'm going to swing a lot bigger and you're going to see that the ball's really not going to travel as far. So the swing was a lot bigger there. The ball didn't travel as far and it certainly didn't run out too much either. So if you're struggling with these little ones, give it a go on the practice green. Try and strike a bit more towards the toe and see if you can get some energy loss to stop the ball going too far. Thanks for watching this edition of Shakespeare's Short Game Secrets. Any questions, please fire them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my latest releases.